members of soul sisters and brothers of the divine mother and father beautiful souls gods goddesses welcome and welcome back to the channel where the goal is to become more balanced within my name is jaman and i'm solely known i want to take a message or take a second to thank you for sharing the space of existence with me today for clicking on the video hope you're having a great day feeling loved and blessed I hope you've been able to get outside today to connect to the plants, the animals, the insects, all the synchronicities and symbolism that the universe and Mother Nature has to offer and provide for us simply through our awareness. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the vibe and the messages resonate. Take what applies and let the rest fly. Remember that this is general, so not every message may resonate with you. You may want to check out any angel numbers that get mentioned throughout this reading for further confirmations or messages for you from your spiritual team. One on one was just on the clock. Other than that, without further ado, we're going to tap into the divine source of all and see what messages this spring equinox and the this zodiacal new year have in store for you today. We'll be starting off with some oracle cards. One twenty three on the clock. shuffle we'll get into it all righty what messages do you have to store for the viewer watching today at this time please with this spring equinox and zodiacal new year you have card number 42 movement speed and it was just 212 on the clock So I'm getting shifting from this like more 2023 energy into the 2024, but the beginning of the zodiacal calendar is creating some shifts, some changes, getting leaving behind, I don't say darkness, but like just the energy of 2023 that has been left in the dark and moving more into 2024 could have seemed like for some that 2024 hasn't really like began in a sense but like there's this there's this element of light the light of 2024 which is really shifting within the collective at this time it's like an, uh, an official official beginning of the new year I don't know if that resonates or no. Like, it was just 321 on the clock. Like, people resonate with different New Year's. There's the Chinese New Year. There's the calendar New Year. All that. But we have card number 14 here. The soul, passion. And it was just 333 on the clock. Fluidity. Outer core, card number 12. And got it for two more. Card number 38, mystery, dark matter. Last one, please. We have like three that tried to come out here. So I'm not going to take those. I only want one more. One more, please, Spirit. All right, card number 21 Companionship Animals.
and getting an increased passion and connection within one's relationship to self as well as to the world around them, to the connections and relationships within their life. With this fluidity outer core and the companionship animals card, but the soul passion card, there's a transformation that's happening, a major transformation within certain areas of life for some. Specifically, this could be in regards to self-realization or integration. But we've got the butterflies on this card, as well as this card with the dragonflies. It's like the energy of 2023 has been transformed, shifted, this movement speed card. Getting for some, there is a lot of inner, inner exploration with this fluidity outer core, which is now reflecting outwardly even more. A lot of aspects of oneself as well as confidence within oneself that has been brought to the surface or is waiting to be brought to the surface. be seeing dragonflies and butterflies, various ladybugs, but a lot of different animals, spiritual symbolism here, and getting new perspectives. They want to look up the spiritual meaning of, again, the ladybug, the dragonfly, the butterfly, the parrot, the robin, the rabbit, the frog, the horse, the kangaroo, the iguana, or like lizards in general. We have a snake here, so reptiles in general maybe, foxes, raccoons, wolves, the giraffe. You're shining brightly though at this time. Just in general, you shine brightly. Like even in times when there may be periods of more heavy energy or like darkness within, could be in regards to dark night of the soul, but just inner exploration when things are shifting in alignment. I'm getting though that is also when you shine the brightest. It's because you are unlocking new aspects of oneself, solving inner mysteries of oneself as well as in the world around you. You've stepped through some sort of portal or you're moving towards one. This could have a lot to do with DNA upgrade, activations, light codes, connections to starseed family. There's something that you've stepped into energetically, like from, from within yourself, outwardly. Like this person is walking on top of the water, the ocean, like rising from the depths of oneself, the ocean of the subconscious mind with new getting aspects of soul. So maybe some of you have been doing past life regressions or soul retrieval from different parts of past lives that you've been able to connect to. Movement speed. It's 
something that is allowing for you to progress forward more more fluidly more consistently more with ease getting there's been a lot of release though This has a lot to do with the eclipses. This has a lot to do with the solar flares. This has a lot to do with the full moons and new moons. The phases of the moon. Getting something specific about the eyes. It could be in regards to like the eyes of of Horus, the right and left, talking about the sun and the moon. Seeing the world from new eyes. A lot has been shed though. A lot has been released for new to grow. Getting energetically. This could be physically for two. Some of you could be working out in the gym, going through like a body transformation, which is allowing you more to step into this, like this sense of fierceness 12 minutes on the dot on the clock, and this is card number 12, 12, 12. Um, just this confidence that radiates. The major cycles have been closed. This person, like cycles which have led to massive transformation, spiritually and physically though, like as above, so below, on a, on a cosmic level. This person's dress is of cosmic energy, but this person has stepped forward through the portal that is like closing up in the background here. You are the butterfly. And all these butterflies on this card, ladybugs as well. I'm getting a lucky energy. Good luck. And good karma. Genuinity authenticity within within the soul's expression of who you are I'm getting for some when you look at yourself you don't even see the same person because you're not the same person you've gone through a transformation I'm getting on a DNA as well as soul like a spiritual level and again, for some, this is also physical. There's a sense of freedom, though, in being oneself. I'm looking at the horse here, and then the person on this fluidity outer card, outer core card here, which is like standing in their naked truth.
now with this dark matter card next to this companionship animals card here with all this sun illumination energy here i'm getting like moving from more dark to light i'm getting not blending in like the giraffe the giraffe has a high perspective it's able to see things from a heightened awareness, like state of, like level of height. I'm getting a heightened awareness as well as the giraffe, like it doesn't try and cover up its spots. Like the giraffe is the giraffe. I'm getting love for, love for the skin you're in as well. Looking at the frog and the rabbit, as well as with the ladybugs, though, a time of, of fertility, of abundance. Red and white roses could be significant. Sunflowers, marigolds. I don't know why my head just heard like mariachi music. Well, some so some of you could be connected to like Latin America, to the different Americas like Central South, could have like Mesoamerican roots connected to pyramids. I'm also being drawn back to this movement speed card though, a shift in paradigm, a shift in mindset. I think on a collective level, this is like, I don't know, I'm looking at the, the dark moving towards light with the sun here. And even in the background, it's like there's the dark building city. And then over here, we have the light building city. I'm getting like the projection and the mainstream of like dystopian future, like to utopian future. Heaven on earth, new earth. And then, yeah, looking at the world card. Well, looking at the world and the eyes here. Some of you could be travelers. Someone could be moving soon. Or you recently moved. another form of transformation this could have been for work for some getting to be closer to family maybe taking care of a loved one who's maybe elder in their years now i'm looking at the snake again a lot has been shed shedding old skin to grow more Getting a sense of purity within and balance within the root chakra and the solar plexus chakra from this companionship animals card. Some of you could have like humanitarian goals. I'm looking at the animals and then the world within the eyes of the soul passion card, something that your soul is passionate about. It's gonna have to do with the environment. I'm looking at the oceans. I'm definitely getting occultist energy for some of you with this dark matter mystery card. Maybe hermetics. Looking at the ocean, I'm getting Atlantis energy. Maybe people who study the green, the emerald tablets. So Thoth energy, and then we have the, we're talking about the two eyes of 
as of um like Horus earlier, like the left with Thoth and then like the lunar energy and then the right with with Horus. We have all this sun energy here in this card. Getting a new day. So you can see it in the background here, the sun is riding or rising over the, the horse's head. Some of you could ride horses or have ridden a horse before. Getting a new day of freedom. I'm getting for some of you've been on like a um more of a solitude spiritual journey that you are potentially coming into some new companions acquaintances i'm looking at the wolf here but here companionship animals we have all these different animals surrounding this card here getting protected by nature by the universe in general, but specifically like the elements of nature. Some of you may work closely with elementals. Getting a balance of the elements within masculine and feminine, earth, water, fire, air, Part of a cosmic shift of balancing. Getting something about, okay, yeah, I'm being drawn back to the movement speed card as well. But I was looking at the uh, kangaroo here, and I was getting, making great, great leaps and bounds with, like, one stride. Like, the kangaroo can cover a lot of distance in one hop, but then we have this movement speed card here, where this person is leaping through the air. Great speed. Something could be speeding up in life for you. Getting reliance on oneself, but being able to count on others. Looking at the raccoon, which is like a resourceful animal, but it's holding a butterfly in its hand. Again, and surrounded by a whole bunch of other animals. Companionship. This could be soul, family, and tribe for some of you. Getting you've come a long way, accomplished a lot along your journey to be where you are currently. Again, stepping through the portals, closing out past cycles, movement speed card, release with the waterfall from the eyes, releasing a lot to be in this confidence, but front and center here in your own energy within your own life, getting holding yourself to high standards. And then in the background though, we have really tall grass but the person has maneuvered through all the tall grass. I don't know where you can see it. It's kind of in the background there. You can see some right there. But as I maneuvered through the brush, through the tall grass, creating their path along their spiritual journey to be in the front right here in the car looking at us.
And with this, I'm getting it's like you don't look like some of the things that some of you have been through. I guess she's got her makeup done. She's got her flowers in her hair. A crown of roses. Getting a crown of love. Divine love and grace. Maneuvering with the grace of the divine. But yeah, she's got she's got her necklace on. She's got the crown of roses here. I'm getting unconditional love. The white rose and the red roses. But passion. Love for oneself and for others. For the world. Again, this person is like maneuvered through all this grass, but this person doesn't look like they've been trekking through a field of, of tall grasses. Getting adaptability. Grounded within the spiritual and the physical, but as well as the emotions, the mind. I'm looking at the frog, which is able to go from land to water. Some of you may connect and resonate with Hecate. Horus. Thoth. Getting different Orishas. Specifically though, Oshun. I'm looking at the yellow here, but as well as Yemiya. Mommy Water pops into mind for some. I don't know much about Mommy Water, but it pops into mind. Ma'at. All right. I'm going to get some more Oracle cards here. Oh. Wow. A rose. Love on the bottom of the deck here and on the split moon cycles, that lunar energy, getting thought energy. I'm talking about the changing and transforming with the phases of the moon. And the ebbs and the and the flow. The waxing and waning. I'm getting something is arising within your intuition as well as Arising within your your clairvoyance, your claircognizance, clairsentience. All right, get about one or two more shuffles. One or two more shuffles. Twenty-nine minutes on the dot on the clock. Number twenty-nine could be significant. Twenty-nine adding up to eleven. Portal energy, as well as two being a number of balance. Nine. The closing of cycles, and we have the the siren going off in the background. I believe it is what like two o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock. But yeah. Cycles closed. All right, what else, please, do you have for the collective? Right. Owl, intuition, more of that full moon energy. Could be connected to owls. Your owls could be significant. You could be hearing them a lot. I'm getting this is new wisdom that is about to be to be unlocked within you, but as well as presented to some of you. Now I'm 
also being drawn to silence, listening to the expression of the soul. We have the owl here, which it's the only bird as far as I know that like when it flies, its wings don't make a sound. It's something phenomenal, especially for as big as some owls can be. But looking at the butterfly over over the um the mouth of the person on this card here. I'm getting wisdom in silence. And wisdom coming from silence. Wisdom of the soul speaking through silence. Again, full moon though right there. Something is like rising within you. Like a heightened connection to I'm getting past life information for some, but just within your own spiritual gifts and abilities. As well as things being eclipsed out, we have the lunar eclipse, which is approaching. And then the siren that was going off, and we were talking about closing of cycles, like things that have been closed out, creating that room for new things to enter. Regeneration, butterfly, more transformation energy, but then moss adaptability. And we're talking about adaptability. I'm getting where old things have, old cycles have been closed out, like release. I'm getting death card energy. So like the end of old, the beginning of new, but where things have energetically like died or fallen away being shed from one's life. I'm looking at the fallen tree in the background here. I don't know if you can see it right there. But there's still things that grow from the release and shedding of old or from the end of past cycles. It's like when something something in the forest falls and it begins to decay it creates opportunity for new life in different circumstances and ways like the moss is able to grow on the trees the, the mushrooms are able to grow on the trees the trees are able to provide shelter from within for different animals getting a lot of heart chakra energy from this card this card is almost completely green. Some of you could be having going through an uh, through an expansion within the heart chakra. We have this light that is shining through the canopy of these trees to shine on this card, but as well as to illuminate your path. I'm hearing where the wild ferns grow. Some of you could be plant parents. Well, the card that this is above is card number 42. This is card number 24. Two, four, four, two. Twos and fours could be significant. Getting your being reminded to remain adaptable. Through every situation in life, the only constant is change, is transformation in one way or another with the butterfly here. It allows for continued regeneration. Let me relight these incenses real quick. Getting your soul has traveled very far within its journey through the different star seeds that or the you know, star seed origins that you may have um may have incarnated through to be on earth. 
I was looking at the butterflies though, and I was thinking of the migration that they make. Like the monarch butterflies to somewhere in the south. It might be like s Central America. No, nah, I can't remember exactly, but like there's a great migration that they make. I'm getting your soul has traveled very far. The soul, passion, and then all these portals with this cosmic energy. Traveled far to be exactly where you are. And getting the old you would be proud of you for how far you've come. So always try and remember that in the present moment. You're being reminded. Card number 21 right next to the butterfly regeneration card number three the companionship animals card is 21 number 33 could be significant okay all right so we have the eagle vision card again being adaptable like the water but then we have the diamond Radiance card, card number 11. The Eagle Vision card is card number 13. I'm getting some of you your visionaries. The Diamond Radiance Eagle Vision, like a radiant vision. Some of you you're seen as a diamond to other people. Eagles and hawks could be significant. So I'm being drawn back to that Horus energy. I saw a hawk earlier today, actually. But some of you could have connection to Egyptian roots. Or the Egyptian gods and goddesses may work closely with them. getting in areas of life for some where there may have been like cloudy energy or heavier energy like the clouds are parting with this eagle vision card allowing for new perspective to come through I'm looking at the earth and the sky there I'm getting um Geb and nut energy Egyptian gods and goddesses Some of you getting out around trees could be really beneficial and helpful at this time. Looking at the trees on the Moss Adaptability card and the Eagle Vision card. Like being in a forest, in a national park. Just in your area, wherever there is a lot of trees, could be a message waiting for you out in nature. It's getting diamond in the rough, but I'm looking at this diamond radiance card. It is no longer the diamond in the rough. This is a refined and polished diamond. Like this is allowing a lot of you to have stepped into this confidence or is it going to by remaining adaptable and by looking at things from a higher perspective, gaining new vision, insight by going through the shedding and regeneration process I'm 
Getting wood is life's pressure to a diamond. But something that aids in its transformation process. Getting seeing all circumstances as opportunities for growth. All right, what else, please? Earth, home, card number 14. So it's like you've traveled very far from all of the, all of your starseed incarnations to be here on Earth. But again, I'm being drawn back to that to that like humanitarian energy kind of like earth is our home and it's up to us to protect and maintain and to help make it beautiful to appreciate all that mother earth gives mother gaia she gives freely only thing we have to do is to take care of her. Volcano, release. Talking about things being released earlier. This is coming out above the companionship animals car. This person, again, has gone through the the tall grass in the background and the standing front center now looking like what they've been through so again that diamond energy refined polished confident within their own inner power their strength their abilities their connection with the divine as well as the Earth Home card coming before the Volcano Release card. It's like different things are being released by Mother Earth through the shedding process and the journey of her own ascension. Renewal. Regeneration. Balance. Bottom of the deck, we have Sage, purification, through her own purification process, which is the same thing a lot of us are going through. Top of the deck now is that Rose, love. Getting seen things from the eyes of love. All right. Get some more work. I'm just getting like, yo, be on the lookout, like for all the signs, the synchronicities, the symbolism, because your intuition is bringing it to your awareness or it's going to show it to you. The soul passion card, the eye, like open eyes. Seeing things clearly. Your guides are showing you something. The universe is speaking to you. Alright, what else, please? We've got rest. Some of your receiving downloads or information maybe in regards to past lives or just from your spiritual team in general while you're sleeping, like having your eyes open to things. 
as well as going through a deeper level of activation and awakening while you're sleeping as well. And maybe things or aspects of oneself that have been dormant or in hibernation with this ice, this winter energy here. But this is going out right on top of the, the movement speed card here. Like shifting, we are now in spring. Card number 10 of the water element, resolution. 45, 54 is just on the clock. Four, five, five, four. Fours and fives could be significant. Getting breakthrough energy. Again, back to what I was saying earlier about like taking, making leaps and bounds in one stride. Like this is you on the foot of the divine. Like you're able to cover a lot of ground with just one step when you're working with the divine. With source. As well as just your own connection to your higher self. And somebody could be moving here. I'm looking at the houses on the resolution card. being presented with different resolutions though within one's life however that res resonates resonates some of you this could be in regards to a business deal I'm kind of looking at the pants here they kind of look like business pants and the speed movement card which is what this card is also on top of as well as the soul passion card so this could be in regards to maybe something you work on that is a passion of yours for some of you. But I'm looking at the speed movement card and it has all the buildings in the background, the businesses. Somebody could be moving from the city to the countryside. We've got recycle card, number seven of the earth element. And again, to the countryside, we have like this farmland with this farmhouse in the background. I'm also getting like Anpur Anubis energy. Like I'm looking at this here as like the crossroads. Some of you are at a crossroads within your life where you are, you have left from one cycle into the next, creating new opportunities here that are being orchestrated by the divine. Also got a balance of feminine and masculine energy. So this is also being receptive while taking the necessary action in the correct divine timing. Getting multifaceted people. But as well as like being yourself authentically no matter how you perceive that, people around you are going to see a different color or a different perspective from how they see things. Some of you may knit or crochet, make quilts. So, what else, please? Okay, that's a lot. And I kind of flip back in. Alrighty. Card number five of the fire element perspective. So, we have that perspective energy coming out again. 
as well as the rainbow on this card, I'm getting like light body activation. Kundalini rising and activations for some as well. Seeing things from a more enlightened perspective, we have this beam of light shining on top of this magnifying glass here. That light is coming from source, the divine. Seeing the, seeing life through the eyes of the divine, but also you know, you're a reflection of the divine. I'm seeing, I'm getting, seeing the blessing in past cycles which allows for resolution as well as clarity as you continue to move forward into these new cycles and opportunities that are being manifested and created for you by the divine, with the divine. I'm getting harvest energy, but as well as like sowing new seeds, those rows of rows within the field here of this farmland. We have card number four, reflection. Some of you could do hair, nails, makeup. Anything like that. But I'm being drawn to this emerald green. So back to like the emerald tablets of thought. But this emerald green color on this reflection card. Which is like right in the heart chakra area. Like activation. Healing. Getting, gaining a new perspective of oneself as well through self-reflection. Back to seeing oneself as a reflection of the divine. Seeing oneself through the eyes of the divine. Seeing the world through the eyes of the divine. And then card number one. Stuck. Getting in areas where there is a feeling of any stuckness, if that resonates, it's just allowing for more rest to do some reflection. As well as though with this movement speed, this movement speed card, like with the rest card here, pull it up. So it's like this. I have it laid out. We have the movement speed card, the rest, and the resolution all lined up right next to each other and on top of each other. Like moving out of any stuck, stagnant energy. It's just allowing for regeneration. For anything that needs to be released to be released. Alrighty. Sun card on the bottom of the deck. Six of swords. Moving into cycles of joy, happiness, pleasure, rebirth. Knowing that all is well. Again, like the diamond, the radiance card here, knowing that 
just different forms of pressure in general within life, every circumstance, every good, bad, or whatever it may be perceived as is only what you decide to perceive it as, but is also just an opportunity for more growth to refine and polish oneself. Please, 5544 on the clock, 005544. So those numbers could be significant. The world card. The closing of old cycles, which leads to the full card. The beginning of the journey all over again. A cycle of wholeness. A level of wholeness attained within oneself, a level of completion with this spring equinox, this zodiacal new year, celebration of life, a completed journey, which is making room for the next, the next chapter and going into it again, knowing that you are working with like the universe energy and you are supported on in the path and the direction which you are moving I'm getting a time of great manifestation as well she's holding two wands in this card as well as I'm getting more past life energy here. But um it's not on this card, but I'm thinking of the Ouroboros, which is on some of the world cards in some different decks. Like the reincarnation cycle. Got the angels, we got like an eagle, the lion, the bull on this card here. Some of you may be connected to um, the Lyrans or the Blue Avians. I'm also getting Sekhmet energy. But this fluidity outer court here, this outer court card here with this like fierceness energy. Some of you may be like resonate as like warriors of Sekhmet or just having Sekhmet heavily with you on your spiritual team. As well as Horus. Thoth. I mentioned Anpu or Anubis earlier, but then with this regeneration card, as well as green, I'm getting Osiris energy. Isis. Hathor. And then I'm looking at the bull, which is like the male cow. So I'm getting like that Hathor energy. Well, <laughs> the magician card. Which is the card after the full card. But I'm getting that sense of wholeness and completeness within one's own creative power and abilities to co-create with the divine. Having everything you need within. I like that confidence in your manifestations and your ability to co-create. Energy of illumination, divine illumination, resourcefulness, also the ability to grow like through the diamond with like any pressures of any type of situations, like having the ability to grow through it. We have like the flowers on the perimeters of these cars 
red and white flowers again could be significant as well as roses just like this companionship animals card here you are the magicians within your own lives king of swords staring face forward with us this person has the sword of truth this person has clarity as well as the magician card is a card of clarity we have this perspective radiance diamond clarity getting truths seeing beyond the cracks of illusion from a higher perspective like the draft. This is mental clarity. This is what wisdom wise. This is um I just lost the other thing that had popped into mind. But I'm also getting Archangel Michael energy. Like even the King of Swords, like whether it be masculine or feminine, is sitting on a, a throne, a chair of transformation here with the butterfly over their head, as well as, I believe, on their crown. Like transformation. We see like there's clouds around this person, but this person's head is above the clouds, as well as there's a bird here in the background receiving messages from the divine. I'm getting wisdom in how you utilize and how you co-create with the divine within your own spiritual gifts and abilities. Discipline. I'm getting like, you know, taking authority within one's life as well as co-creating with the divine here. Like sitting in that, in that seat of power within your own inner power of confidence. Hierophant card, the divine. That clarity, divine clarity, receiving downloads, receiving information from the divine. Some of you could be spiritual teachers. Those of you who do practice magic or like occultism, I'm getting you're just very good at what you do. The magician card with the hierophant, the king of swords. Three majors, though, out of the four tarot cards that we have here. The world card, the hierophant, and the magician. The world card, like the universe. Like divine cosmic energy. I'm getting the divine is also providing you with these resolutions. The magician, the king of swords card is laid out on top of the resolution card to help you to continue to move forward beyond the closed out cycles.
Six of Swords came back out to help you move beyond, close out cycles. This is you and the boat and the divine moving you to calmer waters on to your next, your next journey. Six swords of protection around you. Protected on all sides. As you continue to move forward into this next phase of your journey. I'm getting actually, it's like you are the child in, in the boat. And you have, for some of you, one specific guide that you worked very close with that is like, could be an ancestor, could be a god or goddess type deity, but that you work with very closely. But then overall, beyond all that, like the source, like the universe, is Hierophant energy. For some, I'm getting Archangel Michael, but helping to move you forward. Uh, on the bottom of what I had just started, I guess we'll go. So yeah, no, on the bottom of the deck though, we have the sun card moving to, again, that joy, that happiness, that pleasure. We have the justice card underneath that. Not going to take those, but I felt called to speak on them because when I picked it back up, I saw them. Like to balance. Again, the Justice card is also a card of truth and clarity. I'm getting restoration. Restoration of just zest for life. Again, with the sun card here, we have the sunflowers growing on top of this um this like brick wall. I mentioned earlier sunflowers could be significant, but um so we have like like um dandelions, flowers, anything that grows in nature, like sometimes you see it growing up through the cement. It's like when the when the drive and desire to grow and evolve is greater than the obstacles, any blockages in path, like nothing can stop it. Again, that diamond radiance, like all pressure, all circumstances are just opportunities to help refine and repolish oneself. Yo, man. Card number two, the high priestess. A lot of majors energy. Like, this is just major shifts within. We have the Hierophant and the high priestess here. For some of you, there could be. I'm only kind of getting the energy, but for some of you, there could be like a new connection or just an increase in the level of I mean, like spirituality within your already existing relationships. Your intuition, let your intuition be a guide. We have the black and the white pillar. That balance, masculinity and femininity. As well as the high priest card, like secret knowledge, like the hierophant card. Like for some of you, you're definitely like a cultist. But this is, you're being moved towards New information I'm getting that's coming from within, but as well as without. I'm looking at the magician cards. Like you already have everything within to manifest externally. The like the things that you want to co-create with the divine and manifest within your life here with the world card. But this is wisdom that is within you. Like, and for some of you, you're being guided to new information, knowledge externally, which is going to help unlock. 
new parts of yourself. Just getting divine guidance though as you continue to press forward through along your soul's spiritual path and journey. High Priestess card is also a card of purity. You had that sage energy earlier with right there, purification. All right, last card, please. So we got to, you know, this is the spring equinox. This, this is the zodiacal new year is just, it's shifting a lot. It's monumental, really. We have the chariot card. As you continue to move forward, we also have the black and the white sphinx, that balance between the masculine and feminine energy. But then we have the wheel of fortune, destined turning point. And this has to do with your Akashic Records as well. We have all the figures on this card. Another Sphinx as well. So something very significant about Egypt for some of you. Um, but yeah, we have the different angels, the different deities around the corners of this card here, which are all holding books, recorders, and getting the Book of Life. Kashik records, but this is let me do this a little bit. Something that is happening because of all of the growth, the shedding of old, the renewal, regeneration that you've gone through within within your soul soul card the passion the movement that you've been making energetically the authenticity that you have embodied and at the snake that sheds its skin like what you have shed and again back to this as well the leaves fallen from the trees which have led to this new Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tarot cards here to end this spread out. And out of all of them, five of them are major arcana. We have the King of Swords, actually, sorry, six of them are major arcana. The World card, the Magician, the Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Chariot, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is expansive energy, Jupiterian energy. Getting moving more into your soul's destined path. However that resonates. Like this, not everybody who watches may be on the spiritual path per se, but wherever you are at in your current journey in your path is where you're meant to be at. And it's leading to an area of expansion in some way regards within your life. Major changes though. Like this is a lot of majors out here. I'm getting it's like you have arrived. However that resonates, you've arrived. You're already there though. Like if it doesn't realize you're already there. Your higher self is already there. You're where you need to be, even if it's not where you think you need to be or want to have gone yet. Like you you've arrived. You are in your divine timing, making the path there. And your higher self is already there. You are in this boat with the 
your spiritual team helping to propel you forward towards this pet. Now I'm getting um, raw energy with the Six of Swords here. Thinking about how it makes like the like the sun energy like on the solar barge going through from the day to the night in the underworld having the different guides around to help Ra fight off the energy of darkness to continue to move into the daylight to brighter days moving towards the light that is the light of life the light of consciousness the light of awareness the light of christ consciousness just the light of illumination enlightenment it's destined for you to stand in your authenticity like you're However you express yourself. And again, even with this cherry card, you are being guided forward by the divine, covered by your starseed family. This is a canopy of stars on top over this person's head as well as a, a crown that has a big star on it. So I'm getting star consciousness as well. All right. We're going to get some oracle cards. Point five support. You have the support of your spiritual team, the divine. As you enter into the bottom of the deck here, these new cycles. Some of you could be connected to Mintaka. Again, I mentioned Lyran earlier. Lyran star seeds, Blue Avian maybe. The, all of the Egyptian energy I'm being drawn to like the Sphinxes but beyond Egypt like Sumerian maybe Anunnaki for some with that fluidity outer core card Atlantis Lemuria Do you have for the collective and viewer watching with the Ascension Oracle, please? This is a beautiful reading. Oh, wow, look. Card number 26. Love unconditionally. You're just talking about unconditional love a little bit ago. Know that you are unconditionally loved by the divine. First and foremost. Share that with yourself. Share that with others. Because the love of the divine never runs out. It never ceases. Card number 22. Intention. And here we kind of like see like Looks like some figures that all have light emanating from them, like different, different, just ascended beings. I'm really getting like starseed, could be, could be angels, but different starseeds that reson resonate and have transcended beyond like the physical density of things and are very high vibrational beings 
Some of you could wear feathers in your hair. So getting serious star seeds. Getting the tree of life. Have activated or continuing to activate the tree of life within. Connecting to life around, to the world around. Know that your intentions are well heard by the universe, by source, by God, by the creator, divine mother and father. Cloaked in, um, you know, just heightened awareness, intuition, crown chakra, third chakra innervations. Like this person is wearing a cloak of purple. It's just 121, 11 on the clock, and then 121, 12, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2. And this card number 22, ones and twos could be significant. Number 24, New Beginnings. And that is what this spring equinox, this zodiacal new year has in store. What you're being moved towards or what you've already entered into. Card number six, Inner Power. We talked about that earlier. But we have... Like the divine right here, which has its wings, its arms wrapped around you, as well as an earth angel energy. But somebody who serves the divine. Getting thy will before my will. But the wings here, it's like you've been knighted in a sense, whether you be masculine or feminine. And you have divine protection and eyes around you here. as well as the love of the divine. Again, love unconditionally, but the lips of the divine here look like they're shaped like a heart. This inner power card though is a lot of red, orange, yellow, root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, but purity, white energy here as well. Oh, and this card fell. Huh. Infinite abundance. I'd like to see that for y'all. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's thirteen, which is the number of death and rebirth, the death card and tarot, the ending of old cycles, the beginning of new. But for some of you, you could have up to like thirteen different opportunities to create abundance within your life entering. Might not be that many for some. Of course, take it how it resonates, but definitely welcome the energy. I don't think opportunities to create abundance are divinely ordained. Like, is too many is a bad thing. But also with this rest card here, allow for yourself to have the necessary rest. Don't overwork yourself. But with this infinite abundance card here, there's a lot, like this person is a yellow being. Like solar plexus energy. Getting very strong willpower. And then I'm being drawn back to the magician card. Knowing that you are already abundance though, which attracts and manifests with the magician card and the world card with the woman holding two wands, more opportunities of divine abundance to be able to manifest within your life. Now, this is a beautiful reading. Got card number 15, empowerment. The white dove there. You are on the wings of the divine.
being empowered by the divine, empowering others through your presence. I'm getting activating, awakening, like activating, awakening, or like activation within others with your voice here for some of you. Like there's a lot of heart chakra energy, like activation, there's throat chakra activation, there's third eye chakra activation, there's a lot of crown chakra activation here. I'm getting for some working with the stone aqua, aquamarine could be beneficial. The crystal. card came back out again support being supported by the divine by your ancestors by the higher realms by the realms in general but like you are spiritually supported number five to end it off all you have to do is be present and have gratitude for where you are so that more things to be grateful for can flow into your life and also getting um respect from other gaia like this is kind of remind me of gaia energy here which is going through awakenings and activation as well ascension Mother Gaia supports you. All right. I think that's all I have for you. I loved being able to read this energy for you. This is a beautiful reading. You've done a lot of work or there's some things that maybe you now may be drawn to work on because there is so much energy here that is being shifted and so many doors of opportunity that is opening up for you at this time with this spring equinox with this new you this new new year <laughs> um but other than that you i hope this reading resonates for you like share and subscribe if you enjoy the vibe and it did take what applies let the rest fly Remember, not everything may be for you. And that, I hope you continue to have a great day. Hope you continue to feel the unconditional love of the universe and feel blessed and know that you are. Hope you continue to connect to the plants, the animals, the insects, all the angel numbers, the synchronicities and symbolism that the universe has to provide for you simply through your awareness. Other than that, beautiful souls, gods, goddesses, divine sisters and brothers of the father and mother like i appreciate you being here and i wish you all much love much peace many blessings and balance deuces